What is going on guys? Back with another video and we're here today to talk about Super Saiyan 2, well LR Super Saiyan 2, Teen Gohan now. My boy just dropped about, what was it, a day and a half pushing two days ago, I want to say two days ago. As recording this video about two days ago, yeah. The first Thunderbolt LR, first of all, one of the most, uh, you know, actually the hardest hitter in the game. Yeah, he is the hardest hitter in the game as of right now. Wow, he'll damage just Super Saiyan 4s. Uh, my boy is amazing, my boy is awesome, my boy is freaking incredible, but we gotta talk about something. There is a bit of an issue with this car being introduced into the game, okay? There is an issue, I don't know if anyone else has recognized that I cannot be the only person that is into Dokkan, that is about Dokkan, that loves Dokkan, that, re that realizes this shit. I just can't, okay? My boy is doing 4 million damage. Casually, just just doing 4 million, like, you know, he wake up in the morning, 4 million damage, he go to sleep, 4 million damage, just casually. No crit, no, uh, you know, 120% intelligence lead or nothing, you know, 4 million damage, just like that. That's cool. We love seeing big numbers, we love doing discussion level damage, but they keep bringing out these cards, like Super Saiyan 2, you know, LR Gohan, Super Saiyan 4s that are continuously doing more and more and more damage, um, you know, more than the other um, previously Dokken uh, Festival card did, and it's like, well, the events are staying the same. Now, granted, they didn't, they uh, introduced Super uh, Super 2 difficulty, fuck, I can't even talk in this video. These cards are continuously getting more and more powerful in terms of their uh, output of damage. Uh, with every single new Dokken Festival banner that's released, every single new Dokken Festival banner is like, okay, well, we need stronger cards, we need more power, we need more, you know, um, attack multiplier, we need uh, more percentages up. It's just more damage, more damage, more damage, more damage, and it's like, we have strong, powerful units. We have great units that can do tons of damage, millions of damage, Rose can do a million damage, um, you know, Merge, Zamasu, we have great units, okay? The game doesn't need any more fucking hard-hitting units, Bandai. We need better events to challenge these cards because me, I have both Super Saiyan 4s, SA-10. I can go to any event. Any event, just do, casually just do a million damage. Even with Vegeta, a million damage. Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Link with Super Saiyan 3 GT, Kid Goku, two million damage. Just, just casually, no crits or nothing, just, just, just take it, a million damage. That's fun and all to see a million damage, but it gets pretty old because part of the game, part of the enjoyment of the game is actually being challenged, needing strategy to beat events, needing... Uh, to think about your move before you play it, because that involves, okay, well, I'm involving my critical thinking skills to get into the game. How am I going to beat this boss? How am I going to set the order for the next round? That is no longer a factor in the game. You can literally go into any event in one shot. Granted, the Super Saiyan 4, they do have Super 2 difficulty, which is, which is the uh, right step in the right direction, because the bosses are getting more HP and whatnot, but at the same time, that's not enough. That's not enough, Bandai, because... Let's say if I have my LR Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan, let's just say I pull that impossible pull. Let's just say Anime Muscle did that shit, okay? I got my Gohan. I got my boy at an SA-10, not even 20, SA-10, okay? I didn't go to any event. I don't even care. You can have 10 health bars, okay? Let's say if I got my Gohan in the, um, in the first slot, I got friggin' LR Piccolo, then I got like, I don't even know, Buhan at the end, okay? I'm going to put Piccolo in the first slot, put Gohan in the middle. He's going to link with Piccolo for the, um, he, he's going to link with the LR Link, uh, LR Link, um, and then with, uh, Buhan is going to link for Ferris Battle, Kamehameha. My boy has a lot of damage. He has a lot of links going on. He's fucking powerful as is, okay? My boy does 4 million damage. That's about what? I don't even know. 3, 4 bars gone, okay? Buhan does at least a million as well because he's a new curse as well. Piccolo can do like a little 150, whatever. That's about 4 or 5 bars gone. From the first turn, okay? I don't even care how much defense you have. I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. You're not going to survive that much uh, with an LR Gohan link between those two characters because a lot of the attack links are active. Uh, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, Kamehameha. That's a lot of damage, okay? So my boy takes out four to five bars. Possibly, possibly four to five bars uh, from the first line of characters with this 10 health bar, you know, boss or whatever, okay? The second line of characters come, alright? We got another LR Super Saiyan 2 team, Gohan as a friend. Link with, I don't even know. Uh, we have um, we have Vegeta, or maybe we have the Raid Trunks. And then we have the Intelligence Orb Changer Super Saiyan Goku. So my boy got the Kamehameha Link once again. He got the Super Saiyan Link. He got Fierce Battle with Vegeta. My boy once again is going to take away about, I don't even know, three health bars. I'm saying, this is the point of the conversation, okay? These cards 
are so fucking strong, so fucking powerful, but we do not have events to challenge these cards. 10 health bars is not enough. It's not enough that you're gonna give me a card that can do 4 million damage. That's not enough, okay? I need 20, I need 30 health bars, okay? I need to be challenged, all right? What they should have done, instead of bringing out these strong OP cards, banner after banner after banner after banner, leave don't even bring out a banner for the next month we can do it without banner for even a month and a half almost even two months without any new doken festival banner like we're good on amazing cards we're good bandai a lot of rebirth cards are coming through the mud we are solid okay we need an extension on that story mode okay i think what they should be doing after this whole gohan thing dies down take that story mission okay take the story mode okay Extend that bad boy about 5, 10, even 15 slots and make it super difficulty, super 2 difficulty, and maybe even super 3 difficulty, okay? Give me a challenge, alright? Do not give me these cards, Super Saiyan 4s, that can do millions of damage. Do not give me these cards, friggin' LR, Super Saiyan 2, Team Gohan, that can do 4 million damage. And not give me an event to be challenged, okay? Granted, we do have the Battlefield Royale mode, but... That is not really a mode where I'm going to go in with a structured team. Like, I'm not going to have my LR Gohan lead with my, you know, um, set characters to benefit my LR Gohan. I can't structure a team. I'm just throwing cards on it, whatever. Again, it's going to be randomized into the battle that I go into, okay? So, the, the uh, battlefield mode is difficult, yes, but that's not what I'm talking about, okay? I want to be able to get my team together. Yes, with my LR Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan lead, and I want to go in that fight with purpose, okay? And I want to wreck shit, but I want to be challenged while attempting to wreck. So, we need that, Bandai. We really need that shit. We need more difficulty in terms of story mode, in terms of new events coming out. We need to be challenged. Like, you remember the days of Gogeta? Gogeta leads? Like, I came around Dokkan when Gogeta was still relevant as a leader. I, I just came out, and then I think, yeah, yeah, he was still around, yeah. Because Super Vegeta didn't come out um, in global till what, October, November? Yeah, I was around, man, because I created my account in, like, July, so... Days of, like, Gogeta lead, okay? Frieza was difficult. Full Power Frieza event was difficult, but it was doable, okay? The Cell event. Super, uh, Super Perfect Cell, okay? This nigga healing shit, that was difficult, but it was doable, alright? In today's meta, nothing is difficult. Everything is easy and everything is doable in terms of the actual boss battles, in terms of everything, okay? the Like I said, the battlefield mode is separate. That is challenging, it's tedious, it's a grind fest, whatnot, to get the medals and everything. Well, at this point, you can't grind because it's restricted to three times a day, but if you open it, you know, to however long you want every day, then that's going to be a grind fest. Um, we need challenge, okay? We don't need any more OP cards, if anything. The next, you know, Doken Festival exclusive card, if you're going to release one within the next couple weeks, make it a supporting unit, damn it. Make it a good supporting unit. We don't need more fucking new cards. We don't need more higher percent characters that can do more attack and all this. No, we don't need that Bandai, okay? We need stronger events. Bring out some supporting characters um, that is the exclusive card of whatever new Doken banner that's going to be dropping. That's going to be awesome, okay? So... Just something I want to say, guys. Just something I want to get off my chest because the power creep in this game continuously goes up and up and up and up and up. And although we have the new Super 2 difficulty, it's not that difficult. You can easily beat the Super Saiyan 4 Goku event with a mono agility, uh, with a mono strength, with a mono intelligence, with a mono tech, mono physical. I don't know about that. But, you know, we just need more difficulty in the game to make these new cards that can do all this damage relevant. So. I don't know guys, maybe just me, maybe you are the kind of person who loves one-shotting, who loves doing millions of damage and killing the boss right away. It takes the fun out of the game for me because I can't really grind, like I can collect, you know, 77 medals in like 30 minutes, 20 minutes because I one-shot, one-shot, one-shot. It can't just be me. Really can't just be me, so if this keeps up within the next couple months, this could be the end of Dokkan. It could be the end of Dokkan because, you know, it's going to get tired, it's going to get, you know, boring really fast. It's going to be very tiring uh, to just get, to just one shot. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying right now. To just one shot events. I hope you understand the message, okay? So, anyways, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you don't agree. Either way, leave your comments so we can discuss this. Maybe, perhaps, I don't even know. I don't even think it's possible. But maybe Bandai will see the video, get some kind of message of, okay, well, these cars are out. They're too fucking strong. We need to challenge these cars. So let's break out Super 10 difficulty. Let's just do it. 
Maybe. I don't even know. But let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you in another video. Thank you. Subscribe, like, comment. All that good fun shit. Yes. See you next time. Bye-bye.